Hey guys, General Mechanic right here. Um, decided to make a, this video based on uh, the removal of this engine. You see me pulling out. This is a 2014 <clears throat> Nissan Pathfinder. This thing had a um, really bad story to tell us. Um, somebody got an oil change, but I believe, according to what I see, the company who did the oil change for this lady didn't put oil in it. So she drove it like that and uh, there was no oil in the car. Even when she left the place, the, the oil light was popping, I mean, was blinking. So <clears throat> according to them, you know, they were not responsible for it and this and that hidden there, whatever. So she blew up the engine now. There was no oil in it. And the uh, reason I'm making the video is to share with you guys a couple of tips on how did I remove this thing. <clears throat> you can see it's got to come out <clears throat> with the transmission. And uh, I guess there's no option out of that. It's got to come out like this um, in order for you to, to not struggle too much with it. The whole wiring harness comes out. Everything. The only wire harness you gotta take off, or the only wire you have to take off from the vehicle is gonna be the ground that goes uh, in this place right here. It's a 13 millimeter bolt. And uh, <clears throat> as you can see, I didn't have to take the frame out, okay? I taken uh, all four bolts are loose. The ones in the back, I left them loose. Both of them right there. I'm gonna get you a little closer. You can see the bolt still in there on both sides. Um, I did that. Uh, I took the um, right companion loose, as you can see it right there moving. So in that way, it won't be too much tension on it. But anyways, it's not too much tension on it because the uh, bolts are in place. The frame bolts are in place. Of course, you gotta take the muffler and stuff, you know. But the tips I wanna share with you guys: you don't have to take this frame loose, okay? So you don't mess with the alignment and stuff. Another thing, thing I, I like to do on most of Nissan's, I don't, I don't take the axles off. Uh, like on this side, on the driver's side, you don't have to take it loose uh, out, completely out. What you got to do is break it loose from the uh, strut right there. I'm sorry, I don't have uh, too much light right here. But um, you don't have to take it loose. Just pop it out of the transmission and uh, put it to the side. Of course, you got to get the... Uh, caliper you know tight down over there the uh, speed sensor because if you don't take the speed sensor to loose from the spindle it's gonna you know break that wire right there so I got this um, axle right here in place and uh, <clears throat> the motor mounts I took this one took the nut you are you are able to get it from here from the top night uh, 18 millimeter and um, I took it loose from there and uh, I took it a loose from the from the actual frame, but um, I didn't really have to take it a loose from there. And actually, I forgot one nut right here. It's another um, five eighths nut right here. And um, you didn't have to take it loose because you see it won't it won't be on your way. You got another little strut mount right here. It's another 18 millimeter bolt going through. And uh, of course, you gotta take the uh, power steering return line right there. And the uh, pressure hose that comes from the uh, uh, bar steering pump right there got to come out. You can see it got it broke loose. Uh, you just got to, I believe it's, uh, it's got two 10 millimeter bolts right here that holds it down. So you got to take that loose in order to uh, for the frame to come down. Uh, on this side right here, you do have to take the uh, axle out. I don't take the just the axle out. I do take the whole spindle out, and um, it's easy for me. I think it's easier, saves you some work. Uh, you don't have to mess with this uh, nut, and you see somebody put some uh, thread lock in right here. So you mess up the nut, you screw. You know you have to replace the whole axle, uh, but it's easy. It's not too hard to get it out. So that's it, guys. Oh, uh, you know this motor mount right here. Sorry about that. This motor mount doesn't have to come out. This one doesn't have to come out. Um, all you gotta do is uh, break it loose, take the bolt loose in order for you to uh, 
if you look down like this, um, yeah, if you look straight down, this thing is some type of angle like that. So you can't get to this nut unless you break this one loose and push it to the side. So you gotta, you gotta break this loose. Take this bolt off when it goes to the engine, um, in order to get to this, um, 18 millimeter nut right here. Um, what can I tell you? Overall, it's not a big job. It's not a heavy job to do. Um, what you expect out of an import vehicles, Nissan, you know, you, you expect to use, uh, 10 millimeter socket, a 12, a 14, 17, and 19s. But this car, I'm gonna tell you guys, you gotta be prepared. It's, it doesn't take the regular uh, sockets that you'd be expecting to use. Um, I was using a lot of 18s, I was using some 17s, um, especially on the spindles. You gotta use some 21s, a 21 range, and um, 5 eighths, guys, transmission bolts. The, the ones that be holding the transmission, like right here, I already got the torque converter uh, bolts loose and everything. So those bolts right here, those are 5 eighths. Um, this is gonna be 18 millimeter, but uh, the bottom ones are 5 eighths, a lot of 5 eighths. Uh, the exhaust bolts, instead of being 14s, you know, like normal Nissans will have 14 millimeter bolts, this one has a um, 16s or 5 eighths, whatever you want to use, 16 or 5 eighths. Um, so you know, it's a pretty much not hard um, to get to it, but you got to be prepared to use different sizes than what you normally use on another, on another Nissan. Another cool thing about it, the whole radiator assembly comes with the, uh, uh, like the front uh, radiator support, the condenser, all that can be moved, like removed together. So it's not too much of a hassle to do it. Um, of course, you got to remove the front bumper and all that stuff. Uh, so it's it's plenty parts to be taken to loose, plenty parts. But I was just uh, making this video. See if uh, you find any information helpful, please um, give it a like. You know, leave thumbs up and um, got any question, leave it in the comment below, um, and I will do my best to answer to uh, to the most of my knowledge. You know, I'm I know I don't know it all, but if I got anything to share with you guys, I will. And uh, main thing is subscribe, as I got more videos coming. Um, and I guess this is it for this video. I was just uh, sharing these tips and uh, hopefully you find any uh, something helpful in it. And I uh, will catch you in the next video. So have a blessed day.